How do you describe what you do for home rights now? Well, what's nice about what we do for home rights is we bring the knowledge of general contracting to the table, and but we take a step back and we do it as consultants and we allow our clients to be the general contractor uh, where they're out there every day. They're in charge of keeping the schedule uh, and signing up every sub, doing the contracts, all that stuff, and making the decisions and being obviously extremely involved in the process along the way because there's just a lot of people out there that have always wanted to build their own home. So we're able to offer that and help them through the whole process and save money along the way, as opposed to going to a turnkey contractor. Well, first of all, they're always curious and want to know exactly what their role is and what we offer, um, because I think there's always that question mark in their mind is, well, geez, how much do we really have to do? And how much do we really have to know? And, you know, when that initial conversation where we let them know that we go through the estimate process and we go right down the line, we have a very detailed estimate and we put that together for them so they really have a good idea of what the project's gonna cost them and that we help them through the permit process. We help them through collecting bids and just everything, all that pre-construction stuff before the project even gets started. Uh, we're right there with them along the way, giving them direction and letting them know exactly what they need to do. It is true. Um, obviously, the depends on the size of the project. Uh, if they're building a a million dollar home or a 1.2 million dollar home there's a good chance they could stand to save anywhere from 150 to 250 thousand uh, dollars because obviously those projects take longer so a general contractor is going to charge more money yeah. and some of the smaller projects uh, they could save anywhere from 50 to 75 thousand or a hundred thousand which is still a pretty good chunk of money when you're building a custom home. It's real money. So what do you think are some of the misconceptions people have about building a custom home? Well, some people think it's very easy. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, you know, the phrase of uh, it's not rocket science comes into play. And while it is not rocket science or brain surgery, there's a lot of parts that make it work. And, uh, you're dealing with anywhere from eight to a dozen different companies, different individuals, different personalities that are independent. And a lot of people come in, whether it be because of their careers, uh, they think things are gonna happen you know, right down the line. Everyone's gonna show up when they're supposed to and everything's gonna run smooth. And in construction, uh, it just doesn't always work out that way. So you have to be flexible and you have to uh, communicate a lot with people and m make sure everyone's on the same page. And uh, sometimes it means holding off and waiting a couple days to get somebody to come in and do your job. So the reality is there are problems and challenges every day and part of what Home Rights does is solve those. How do you explain to a new custom home builder that they need to expect some of those things? Well, um, exactly that. When we're sitting down and going over things, uh, if they decide to go with us, we have an orientation meeting and I try to let them know the best I can that they're going to have challenges with individuals, whether it's getting them on the site, whether it's them communicating well with you, letting you know what, uh, what they're doing and if they're going to show up or not. Um, and so you, 
I do my best to make sure they're prepared for that and to not take it personal. Um, a lot of people get upset and they think, uh, you know, how could somebody do this to me? But unfortunately, it's the nature of the beast in our business because a person can't just do one job at a time. They have to have multiple jobs going because there's always hiccups and they have to have something else to go do and occasionally they're going to have to pull off of your job and maybe spend a day or two wrapping up another job or starting another job and the reality is if they don't do that they will not be in business. So, How does Home Rights help me as a first time custom home builder find the right subcontractors? Well fortunately we have what we call the toolbox and it is filled with subcontractors that have been vetted uh, and ones that we've some of them we've worked with for 14 years or more and uh, so we bring that to the table and we have multiple subs for every trade so you're not just choosing one sub or you only have access to one sub you have access to uh, three or four sometimes five different subs for any particular job on the on the site so um, you get to call them and meet them and get them information and talk to them and make your own decision on who you want to want to do for each of the uh, subcontracting work out there whether it be electrical plumbing roofing all those things so. How about financing what do people need to know in terms of the basics about funding a new custom home so financing can be a little tricky at the beginning. Um, banks don't make everything readily available to you. So sometimes we get a client that comes in that is going through the process with the bank to build his, their own project. And as they're working through it, they get towards the end and the bank says, who's gonna be your contractor? And he says, well, I don't have one. And that changes the whole game with the banks. Um, they want, typically want to see a contractor uh, to do the project because they want to make sure someone's there to see it through. They want to make sure that if something were to go wrong, someone's involved in the process that can complete the project and obviously the bank can get their money. So an example is, um, I had a client, well, a potential client that called and has their plans all drawn up and while they were trying to get a loan the bank said got to that point and said you need a contractor and uh, the bank actually recommended home rights and so he called and we talked to him and worked it all out and then he was going back to the bank uh, with a little different approach and because all that wasn't ex expressed out front that now that he wants to be an owner builder even with our help the the loan changes a little bit they want to see more money down up front so when not knowing what to expect up front he had to basically put off the project for another year in order to save up the money to have uh, up front so the bank would uh, fund the project so if he'd been more prepared going in the first time, he wouldn't have had these headaches, would you think? I believe so, because he would, uh, he would have all those things in place and he would know what the expectations are right up or front. Or he would have just waited until he had the money and then he would have done it at the right time and not stressed out. Exactly. Yeah,